Hey guys, Mr. Plane 420 here. And oh no, a Max. But don't worry, this is Boeing's. This is. This is not. This is not the Max 8. This is Boeing's new plane, the 737 Max 10. If you've been alive for at least 2019, then you'll know that the Max 8 was grounded because of two crashes that it had in a very short time period from each other. But that, that'll be another video. So a few days ago, this new aircraft took off from the fir for the first time at Renton Municipal Airport, which is the airport we are at now. And a lot of people said that it was a very successful flight. So let's look at the cockpit and see what changes there are. Okay, so this is the cockpit. Uh, it really doesn't look that much different from the regular 737 cockpit. Uh, one thing I, we got um, these knobs for the engines. Normally it's like um, a lever, lever? Yeah, it's a, like a lever. Um, looks like the gear, the, le the gear lever is a lot shorter than usual. And let's see here. We got all these knobs and buttons and switches. Well, it's it's mostly the same. I think there are a few differences, but I can't really like spot them. And if we go back to the seat, we got this neat little tablet here. But um, I think that was always on the on always on the 737. So you just basically got your fuel weight balance. You got the fuel truck and. All that you got, uh, the ground services, and the doors, oh, and yes, we also got slides here, but we will get to that later. And so now let's, let's check out the cabin. Okay, so now we're walking down the aisle of the cabin, and um, just looking, it's really, it's really not that much different from a regular 737 cabin. Like, you just basically got your first class here with a movie playing or TV show or whatever. Then you got your business class or economy class. I'm, I'm not sure. It's probably e business or economy. I'm, I'm just going to go with business. You just got your seats here. You, you also got a, a set here, TV. I don't think this is on the regular 737, but... Whatever. Um, so yeah, it's all. Yes. Also, we got um, a Southwest Airlines heart on these two walls, and and um, that wall over there. So yeah, that's a big difference. Now, let's move on to the outside. One major difference you'll notice is the engines. Um, it has this term, I forgot what it was called, but they're just basically designed so they're much more quieter when you're inside the cabin if you're flying on this thing, which we will test um, when we fly this plane. Another difference you'll notice are the wingtips, but this is on some regular 737s, so it's really not that new. You also got this, I guess it's a dome. It, 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 it's probably a dome, but I'm not sure what its purpose is. Well, I think that pretty much does it for the outside. Let's let's taxi over to the runway and let's fly in this thing and see how it handles. Now we are up in the air, and wow, the engines really sound different. Have a listen. And now we are in the cockpit. Oh, oh my goodness, why are we going down? Oh, anyway, um, the engines are still kind of loud. Here, I'll let you guys listen. Not that much different here either. Enough fooling around. It's time to put this plane to the test. I think we should do a bird strike. Okay, so now the birds should hit. If they already hit. Um... 
um, the birds are not showing up for some reason. Um, yeah, let's just say that, um, well, let's just pretend that this never happened. Okay, now it should be working. Oh, yep, see? Oh, it didn't... Darn. Okay, now, hopefully, yep, see? Alright, we got a, um, engine fire in the, in the left engine. We're gonna have to make emergency landing immediately. Alright, we're just gonna try to land in this lake over here. I need to get, like, way down and too high up. I'm gonna try to, like, avoid... Well, yeah, I'll, like, try to clear these islands, but... Well, and if I can't, oh well. It'll, I'm pretty sure there'll be plenty of space. And now I'm gonna throttle down on the engines. And then I'm gonna put the flaps uh, up to landing position. Which is something I probably should have done a, a little bit sooner, but whatever. Yeah. So we need to get down. Need to get down lower in the water. Let's see. Dude, I don't want it. I don't want this to be a Ryanair landing. Oh, oh, we're bouncing, so that's not good at all. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, oh no. Oh, we have crashed. We have crashed. Well, X plane decided to crash, but that's okay because we can try again for a smoother water landing. Right now we are over the water. Ugh, let's see how this goes. See, I want it to be as like smooth as possible. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Okay, we bounce a little bit. Come on, come on. There we go. And now we have. Well. Yes, we have landed in the water. Now we need to shut down all the systems so we can evacuate the aircraft. Let's shut down that, that. Uh, fuel pumps need to be off, 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 off. Um, uh, okay, I need to go over here. Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, we can turn these off, then, oh, oh yes, this all, off, 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 okay, got everything shut off, we just need to evacuate the passengers now, let's see, need to get that open, that open, oh, that open, that open, let's see, Ah, uh, yes, that open, that open, that open, and that open, and we need to extend the slides. Wait. Um, the slides are not extending for some reason. Hmm, maybe I could try putting the gear. Maybe that'll work. Well, the slides are not working for whatever reason, so let's just focus on, um, evacuating my non-existent passengers. And now the Max 10 has become a boat. So yeah, that was a pretty successful water landing. As long as you know what you're doing, then you'll be successful. And now let's try just um, a regular emer emergency landing. So yeah, we're just gonna do the same situation, but on land and the airport we're going to do this at is my hometown's airport, El Paso International. So, let's go. And now we are flying, oh no, birds. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay, now we need to, oh no, birds. Our engine is dead or, or something. Let's, let's land. Okay, so we, so we need to land at El Paso International, which is up ahead of us. Um, I don't think we're gonna make it because we're descending. But you know what, I'm just gonna, uh, throttle up on the engines so we can actually make it there. Well, we're almost there. Um, I should probably put, think about putting the gear up right now. I mean, the, not up, but down. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's the gear. It's going down. And I'm going to start setting up the flaps. Maybe it's a little too early for that. I don't know. I, I haven't been on a flight in a long, long, long time. Well, we're at the runway. I'm gonna make this a very smooth landing. As smooth as possible. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Max 10. Don't disappoint. Oh, we're gonna touch down before we even make it to the runway. Ooh, that was a Ryanair style landing. Okay, let's apply the brakes. And let's just come to a complete stop. And there we go. All right, passengers, there's a fire on the aircraft. Please evacuate immediately. See, so we need to get all these doors open. And we need to, and there we go. The slides are, um, are out. So yeah, I'd say this was a pretty successful emergency landing. We didn't make it to the runway on time, but whatever, that's okay. So yeah, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.